Hey my awesome folks and welcome to part 15 of the Pokemon Fire Red playthrough. In this play in this part right here we're taking care of Koga and we're also going to go through the Safari uh Safari Zone. Jeez, I'm already starting off bad to the part. But basically um now that Team Rocket is reeling from the crush and defeat in Saffron City, you have a chance to resume your original quest to become the greatest Pokemon trainer ever. Future City is home of the Safari Zone and some of the strongest and most powerful Pokemon in the game. So, take some time to explore the city, then start hunting for those Pokemon, which are located in the Safari Zone. So, yeah, the um, Future City, um, Future Fuchsia City, jeez. Uh, make sure, uh, because uh, the Future City Gym is uh, headquarters to Pokemon trainers. Uh, who also uh, follow uh, uh, follow Ninja Disciples? Uh, okay, let's see. Th their training regimen focuses on techniques of poison and induced sleep. So make sure you have some antidotes and awakenings on hands. Um, a lot of the junior trainers here are packing um, psychic Pokemon. So bring some Bug type or strong, speedy fighters to finish them off quickly. Um, yeah, so poison Pokemon are good here since they can't be affected by poison themselves. And grounds are always strong against poison. And psychics are great, but look at this. My Ghastly, the boy Ghastly, is evolving. Um, what I did, folks, was off screen I did some training for Ghastly. Um, just because, pretty much, I figured um, psychic would be good here, but then I realized that um, he didn't really have any moves to really learn because I kind of messed up when the, I kind of messed up by catching him at a high level so um yeah Ghastly yeah, I, I kind of messed up with him but um basically uh yeah uh Koga is protected by a maze of invisible walls and a troop of ninja style trainers um Koga is a snap to uh compared to defeating then reaching him so all you gotta do is look at the care uh the floor tiles carefully. The boxes with the white dots uh in the corners are the invisible walls. So actually um defeating Koga is actually easier than freaking getting to him. But you know me, I'm gonna be challenging every trainer as I possibly can. Gonna heal up my Pokemon and gonna pretty much continue. So yeah, we're tackling just two things here in this part. Uh, we're tackling, as I stated before, we're tackling the gym, as we're doing now. And we're tackling the Safari Zone, which we have to do because it has something important in there that we need to get. So, yeah, we're going to be doing going through that. So, that's what uh, these two parts are pretty much covering. Uh, because we have to, like I stated before, we have to get two things. Um, I'm going to be talking about more of the Safari Zone when we actually get there, folks. So, uh yeah that's gonna be something um kind of special when we actually get to that so yeah um koga he's gonna be packing some um pretty strong pokemon as far as uh you know trainers go um his pokemon um are pokemon we pretty much seen before uh seen before but since he is a gym leader i'm gonna show off the battle because how is she gonna know that i defeated this guy and earned the soul badge so Yep, I'm finally here to where Koga is. It was pretty easy, easier than, um, actually pretty easier than getting to, than, uh, Sabrina was. So, yeah, he's talking about poison and all the benefits and stuff, you know, what people usually give a, um, speech to. So, um, the squad that, um, Koga got is coughing, which is level 37, Muck, 39, another coughing, just, uh, the same level, uh, and a wheezing. A Wheezy, which is a level 43. So, uh, yeah, once you, um, once, yeah, we're gonna beat him in order to learn, uh, in order to learn, in order to get the soul badge. Yeah, I, I hope I brought you back with some nostalgia with that. And the people who don't know what the hell I'm talking about, you're either too young or or you didn't watch TV because I'm talking about when I did that was the uh, I shouldn't have to explain my reference but you know I figure I should anyway but uh, the Soul Train folks and I'm not saying anything else with that if you don't know what that is look it up 
but yeah, basically, oh man, I, I had some memories watching that, uh, basically because my parents did. Um, I liked it, the theme song that came on. I think it used to come on every Saturday. I'm not sure. That's when. That's the only time I actually remember watching it was like Saturday afternoons after I finished watching uh, my Saturday morning cartoons. Rest in peace because uh, kids of this generation will never get to experience that again, uh, even though they try to mimic it. But um, yeah, I remember um, watching that on Saturday afternoons. Oh man, good times, man, good times. Don't oh that that nostalgia feeling. Ah oh, damn it, uh, my Charizard is poison, but I'm not surprised since this is that type of gym. But um, yeah, those Saturday mornings, waking up to you know Saturday morning cartoons. I believe I went over this already, but <laughs> still though, that nostalgia feeling you get, you know, waking up watching um some Disney or Cartoon Network when it was good. Um, they also had the WB, which is CW now. Um, yeah, that showed Yu-Gi-Oh! and, uh, Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. Fox Kids, yeah, Fox Kids, which had those horrible, uh, four kids dub, uh, that I didn't mind back then, because I didn't really know anything about four kids, as I do now. And I know how horrible they did with their editing and voice actors. Uh, no disrespect to the voice actors, but, uh, I got the soul badge. Yeah. Yep. Got the soul badge. I'm pretty much going to be doing that every time. But, uh, yeah, you also get TM6. Yeah, TM6 is to toxic, which is, which I think is a very, uh, powerful poisonous move. So, basically, yeah, that's it. Um, you can't use the, um, uh, escape rope here, which is really stupid. So, you have to, uh, pretty much find your way out of the maze once again so now that that is done we're going to the safari zone safari zone okay i'm gonna stop i'm done i'm done because that's that's probably raping somebody ears okay uh, i'm sorry about that i'm finished okay i'm done but uh anyway i'm gonna um heal up my pokemon and we're gonna get ready and go to the safari zone but at first before we do that here's some optional trainers to fight if you want to um they're mostly swimmers, so they're going to have, you know, um, swimming Pokemon such as, uh, well, water Pokemon such as uh, Tentacruel, Goading, you know, Pokemon of that sort. So, yeah, I figured, you know, I pretty much just uh, get these Pokemon, you know, out of the way, training myself up to be stronger, uh, looking for the experience. And my Charizard is sitting at a lovely 47, folks. I had this some off-screen training with these Pokemon, but they could get stronger, you know. And Pikachu is going to be a good choice here. My Pikachu, my boy Pikachu knows Thunder now. A strong move. Yeah, that he learns at level 40. Uh, it is the most powerful electric move, I think. I think it's, yeah, I think it's a very strong uh, electric move to have. So, I had to equip the boy Pikachu with that. So, he can let out all his rage out. But, um, yeah, um basically what you want it to do is pretty much raise Pikachu till he learns that move and then you can go ahead and evolve him if you want to so that's always good to uh, freaking know but anyway here stays the ward uh, the warden and if you try to talk to him uh, you can't understand him so I just put yes because I didn't know what the heck he was talking about uh, basically what you have to do is go into the Savari zone which is an amusement park for Pokemon trainers uh, you'll, you'll be given, um, special, uh, Safari Balls and, uh, Pokemon Bait to allow to capture, uh, many rare Pokemon as you can within 16 paces. So, you have 16 paces. So, you need to walk through, uh, the entire, uh, zoo or use a Pokemon with Chuck Cut to get into that. Um, but basically, yeah, I'm gonna be going over these... Pretty much the synopsis of uh, the Safari Zone because it's going to be a doozy, folks, if you don't know what you're doing. Because, but first of all, you need to find the Warden's Teeth. Um, and you're, you're kind of like, you're timed, actually. So, you have to find the, uh, the Warden's Teeth and you have to find uh, HM Surf. Um, yeah, so you have to find Surf and you have to find the Warden's Teeth within the time limit. Which is uh, 600 steps. So, um... 
basically what I can tell you folks is good luck. You might be able to get it on the first try. I know it took me about three tries to actually get it right. Because number one, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And number two, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I did just wish you luck. Uh, the strategy guide kind of helped. But it was all pretty much trial and error for me. Um, basically, it says something about going to uh, Area 3 in order to, um, in order to uh, get to where the Warden's teeth and... Um, the surf was that's what it, the guide I'm looking at is telling me now but um safari zone is big folks it really is um so basically um you can spend some time in here and catch some really rare pokemon um if you want to um I'm showing off pokemon that I haven't encountered yet or don't remember encountering but um yeah, you have to throw food or rocks to distract certain Pokemon. So try many different combinations with a particular Pokemon uh, to keep it from escaping. Um, when you run out of Safari ball, uh, Balls or walk 600 paces, you'll get uh, warped back to the gate automatically. So uh, yeah, that's why I say you're kind of on a time limit, folks. But the nice thing about um, the Safari is that you don't have to fight Poke with Pokemon before you catch them. So, uh, unfortunately, you have to catch them with the weak saf uh, Safari Balls that they provide. Um, you do have a, a, few, uh, a few new options. You can uh, throw rocks at the Pokemon, making them angry. This makes them easier to catch, but they run away more quickly. Or you could toss out some bait, which make them stick around longer, but they'll be harder to catch, despite the idea that they are distracted while eating food. So, yeah, to make matters worse, the rarer the, rarer the Pokemon, the harder they are to catch. You might see a Chansey one time in 20, but you'll, pro uh, you'll do probably need to nail her in the head with a few rocks before you can snare her with a Safari Ball. Jeez, that's harsh. Um... Because she runs away, so it might take another 10 or 20 tries until you actually catch her. So, uh, if you want Chansey, you have to be patient. Really patient. You really do. Um, here's the icing on the cake. You only get 600 uh, steps in 30 saf uh, Safari Zones. I can't stress that enough. So, um, yeah, you'll pretty much be doing that, folks. So, um, if you have an, um, let's see what it says. Sweet sense. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, really not irrelevant. But, um, yeah, like I stated before, we're pretty much looking for Lost Teeth and HM, HM, HM3. HMO3. Yeah, we're looking for that. So, uh, the Warden's Teeth are actually not that far from this place. Um, like I stated before, I just didn't know what the hell I was doing. But... <laughs> That's why I'm pretty much uh, pausing the list. As you can tell, I have 15 um, balls left and only 135 steps left to take before I actually, uh, you know. But there's double team if you want it. Like I stated before, um, surf, uh, the water teeth aren't too far from where I'm from where I need to be. But I'm pretty much going to be teaching Lapras Surf since it's the only Pokemon that freaking knows uh, that can freaking do that. But it would be hilarious to see another Pokemon doing Surf even though it's not as tight. Um, actually. But yeah, there we go. Surf. So, going to be learning that. Going to be giving that to Lapras. See, it's the only one that knows it. Um, yeah, so Lapras already knows four moves. Definitely going to be getting rid of one because Surf is a good move. It really is, folks. At least to me, it's a good move. Um, yeah, so Surf is good to me. Um, yeah, like I stated before, we're looking for the Warden's Gold Teeth. Uh, yeah, so that's all I got to say about that, really. It's just um, some Gold Teeth we're looking for. But like I stated before, it's a assortment of Pokemon to catch is actually a lot is too many on this list to freaking name um what i was going for was a uh scyther which has a four percent chance of encountering in uh certain areas anyway uh it's only available in area one which is like towards the uh beginning but there's also um some pokemon you can catch with a fishing rod yeah fishing rod is an item you can use to catch pokemon in water 
which allows you to catch uh, a Dratini or a Dragonair, which I really should have been fishing for. But, yep, time's up. Safari game is over. Uh, I believe we have the Warden's Teeth, so we can go ahead and just give that to him now so we can be able to get another HM, which is uh, HM04, I believe. Uh, with that, we can learn Strength, which allows uh, the Pokemon to pretty much um, move aside large boulders and stuff like that. So, uh, Strength is good to have. We're going to need that for a couple of puzzles. But, you know, I digress. We'll just, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and give um, the Warden back his Blame Blame for he could actually teach, for we could actually teach our Pokemon uh, the moves. But, yeah, um... Yeah, now we can understand him. He said he, nobody could uh, understand anything he was saying. He said uh, he was too ashamed to actually show his face. Kind of understand, but, you know. HMO4, strength. Uh, did you find a secret house in the Safari Zone? I don't think I did, old man. But anyway, we're going to teach that to my primate. Primate's going to learn uh, strength. Even though Pikachu can learn it too, I think. Yeah, Pikachu is able, and uh, Charizard. So three out of my um, six Pokemon can know that, but I'm going to give it to Primate because uh, I believe Strength is a good move to have. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of... Man, this is a hard choice. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of... Uh, go ahead and get rid of uh, Seismic Toss because I really wasn't um, feeling uh, Seismic Toss, and I feel like it wasn't doing enough damage to Pokemon, even though it's a fight move. So... Yeah, my boy Primate, or she's a girl, so my girl Primate, she knows strength now. Man, these Pokemon Jenners, I don't really pay attention to them, even though I saw a video explaining the differences between Pokemon Genders, which wasn't really that much of a difference to show off. Uh, it, some of them was significant, such as the Pikachus. Uh, you can obviously tell the difference between those, but... You know, I digress. But anyway, yeah, that's it, folks. So, you folks stay tuned to the next po uh, Pokemon Park.